Good morning everyone and welcome to what is part two of our testing on tour series from North Wales. I am the average golfer and this is Betty Coed Golf Course. So in part one, I took a close look at both the Cobra Forge Tech and the Forge Tech X irons. But what we're gonna to do today is something a little bit different. We've got a card in hand. We're gonna play nine holes down here at Betsy Coed. And I'm gonna keep score, of course, and we'll see if it changes my verdict on just how good I think either of these sets of irons actually are. And we will of course be taking a closer look at this wonderful looking little golf course hidden away in the most idyllic locations. Right, so the first hole here is a par four, just played over 300 yards and I chose to play the Forge Tech X four iron. And whilst there's plenty of room on the fairway, I still managed to find the uh, trees. But fortunately, we got far enough onto the other fairway, which left me a pitching wedge in 108 into the green. I had to pick it up quite quick. Use the Forge Tech pitching wedge and I've got to say, we're, uh, we're pin high, so a good start, and we've got a chance for birdie on the first. And I've got to say, my first impressions of the golf course was what a backdrop to hit that four iron into, and the greens look, uh, they've got loads of colour in them, considering how dry it's been, and uh, look stunning. Right, let's see if we can get off with a birdie start. No, not quite, a bit of a pull there, in fact. So hopefully we can tidy this up and uh, we start with a par and move on to the next. Right, so the second hole again, par four, but very much different, much more tighter than what we played on the first. A bit of uh, right to left in the shot shape. And for me, with the current swing I've got with a little bit of a cut and I had to take on the tree line, as you can see, really good four iron again, solid stroke. The ball fires out and launches high as well for a strongly lofted four iron, don't forget. And then we got ourselves in position with uh, a wedge. Flag is very much at the back of the green. Um, came up short in terms of yardage. That's one thing that I'm not overly familiar with. We've left ourselves a, uh, well, we need, a, we need to grasp the pace of the greens because, uh, yeah, we're a fair bit short of the flag. It's got to roll out. It's not a bad line either. Not a bad line, just uh, lacking in pace. Well, that's left a horrible, uh, maybe even six footer to try and save par after two decent shots. Yep, we've got it. Putter came to the rescue, another great hole, and uh, well, so far, super impressed with the golf course, let alone the golf clubs. So we've got to the fourth hole. You've seen me play that par three third hole, which was, uh, we ended up walking off with a bogey. I uh, played into the breeze 207 and didn't quite get there, but the fourth hole is by far my favorite on the course so far. A dog leg right to left. We've hit a real good four iron off the tee. Still leaves 149 in. But if you want to go on that brave route alongside of the river, then uh, well, be my guest. But you've, uh, well, there's a lot of risk attached to it. So we've got 149 left into this green. And let's, uh, well, let's see if we can get on in reg. is titled the Gateway to Snowdonia, a region of North Wales that is truly stunning. Whether it's adventure or relaxation, all options are open at this alpine style location. The town is a year round attraction with numerous places to stay, eat and drink, and is one of my personal favorites to visit. 
Right, so two updates at this stage. One is how pretty this golf course is and how good that backdrop is. But the other one is about my performance so far and opinion on these golf clubs performance more importantly. We've had a lot of four irons off the tee, which I said I would do. There's a lot of 300 odd yard par fours. And the one thing I've noticed, and hopefully you have too, is the ball flight is extremely high when you consider this is a strong lofted set of irons. It also seems to be firing off the face quite fast. So plenty of ball speed. That tungsten seems to be helping. The interesting thing for me on the four iron just to finish is that when I've got the option to choose either the Forge Tech or the Forge Tech X, I'm going for the sort of bulkier model and opting for more help, which is interesting because I prefer the looks visually of that Forge Tech model. Then when you get down to the short end of the bag, we played a couple of wedges, a couple of nine irons. Now this is where I'd be swayed towards the more slimmer profile of that Forge Tech, the softer feel, and only slightly softer feel because again, what I've got to report is they both feel and sound absolutely superb. So, so far, I've got to say, struggling to find any negatives with the golf clubs and absolutely zero with the golf course itself. Let me know what you think. Coed Golf Club can be whatever you want it to be. Bring your full set and try and shoot the lights out, or as I would do, bring a half set and take a stroll through these idyllic surroundings. Admire the ball flight into the backdrop of the valley walls and simply enjoy the self-titled Duel of the Nines. Right, quick update in terms of the course, first of all, and with surf, there's four par threes, three of which touch around 200 yards. So that's where you will make or break your score around Betty Coed. And uh, we've got 150 par three. So we sort of, we've parred two, bogeyed two. In terms of the clubs I used, I used a six iron on one of those. Uh, probably knew that I couldn't reach there, but wanted to get uh, a shot in with a six iron. It certainly travels a lot longer than my uh, normal six iron would, let's say, with this strong lofted Forge Tech X model. We've played an eight iron into the 150 green. Again, that was from the Forge Tech model. There's not huge differences. They're both extremely powerful irons and travel, like I said, a fair old dif distance. And the one thing I'll also say is there's not a great deal to separate them in terms of feel either. So, still the same in terms of my positivity towards the model. We've played six iron, we've played eight iron, we've played nine iron, we've played wedge, and we've played quite a few four irons. And I've got to say, right through each one of those, really comfortable over the ball and really got a lot of confidence that the irons are going to do everything they can to give you a bit of help and forgiveness. And I'd say that for both models, to be quite honest with you. Right, back to the course, couple of holes left to play, see how we finish up in terms of the score. And then I'll give you my, uh, well, my final verdict, but I think we know what that's going to be.
Right, that's nine holes complete. And I think uh, after, well, getting behind a tree there, which wasn't too great on my final hole, what did we do? Chip out, made bogey. So I think that was around four over. As ever, there'll be a correction if I'm wrong on screen now. Performance was okay, but what about the performance of the irons? Well, I think it was really impressive, as I've already said numerous occasions. So I'm just going to finish by showing you a little overlay of this, which was a nine eye hit into the penultimate hole. I had 136 into the hole. I didn't hit it very well, almost a little bit fat. You can see from where it has come out of that toe area that where it finished in comparison to the quality of the strike was super impressive. It had no right to get there. And I think that's the best thing we can judge forgiveness on in these types of irons. And that was in the Forge Tech, that wasn't in the X model. So overall, they've just performed incredibly well. They've done everything that they suggest they will do and perhaps a little bit more. So it's up to you if you fancy these clubs. My mind hasn't changed from the initial review if you watched that, just a really, really good iron. I was also really impressed with Betsy Coed Golf Club. As I've already said, I've given you my summary on that place, but well worth a visit and get yourself down here in North Wales and have a walk around this absolutely wonderful stunning location right i'm all done give me your feedback and comments down below i'm off we're going to get in the van we're off somewhere else and i'll see you soon